Hi, I'm Tom from Sterling Northern Engineering. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how we turn these EN8 billets into these T bolts. Right, so what we need to do first is cut 20 mil off each billet as they did come too long, but it's not an issue because we can use this material for future jobs. Now we need to clean this billet up. We're gonna start by facing it up and then we're gonna turn the overall diameter. Now you might notice that we are only resting the center against the billet and not center drilling it beforehand. We do this because we can only have one centered hole in the bolt. And for the accuracy we are after, this does the job. So now we're going to flip the billet round, we're going to face it up to the finishing length, then we're going to spot drill it and then we're going to turn the overall diameter. Now that all the billets are roughly the same size, we're going to get it in the CNC lathe where we're going to turn the shank down to its finished diameter. As these bolts do have such a coarse thread, we have actually got to make our own lubricant because the machine doesn't like screw cutting it, we're just cutting it alone. So as you can see here, I am using cutting compound and slideway oil. Just got to give it a bit of a mix up and then we will be just pasting this on to the shaft. Yeah. Kind of looks like honey, kind of looks tasty, but in a grim way. But um, yeah, I wouldn't eat it. But as you can see here, it's mad, bosh. So as you can see here, we are only taking tiny cuts. I believe by the end we was only taking five fair cuts. It's because our machine really didn't like those bigger ones. But we did get a nice finish. We got a nice crest. It did take a little bit longer than expected, but you know, if it works, it works, doesn't it? We have already pre-tapped a nut to use as a gauge to make sure it goes on. And as you can see here, it goes on absolutely lovely. So now we've got to machine the end of the bolt. 
We do this by first spotulating it, then we drill it, then we chamfer it, and then we start the tap off. We do finish off the tapping manually on because we don't want to snap a tap inside the bolt because that would be a be a major ball ache really. Now it's over to Len who's going to machine the head of the bolt. First we're going to use an end mill ripper to machine this face flat. Then we're going to clean it up with a face mill and then we're going to go back to the ripper and machine the sides of the bolt to create that T shape. Here we're going to be using a face mill cutter to take the weight off the remaining side. It was actually splashing coolant absolutely everywhere, so I didn't manage to film this full operation because I was um, I was getting piss wet through to be honest. Now we need to machine the first radius. We do this in two passes using a ripper. Then we we'll come in with a finishing cut and clean it up but real nice and then we'll create that chamfer. So here's the fixture we made for machining the second radius. This op is pretty much the same as the previous one, but we are also machining the radius in the center of the bolt as well. Now we're going to move on to the nut. We are going to start off by facing up and then we're going to pilot drill and then we're going to drill it so it's all ready to get bored out. Now we're going to face up the other end to length as well as bore it out to the finished size and then we are going to break the corner as well. So because our CNC lathe has a four jar chuck and not three jar chuck, we had Andy rig up this naughty little fixture. So as you can see, we just deburred the corners so it goes in. Now the nuts are all ready for screw cutting.
All we've got to do now is sham for both ends and that's the nut all finished. So we not only get the washer's flame cut but we was actually five short but luckily we had the off cuts from the bolts so we decided to just make five of them. So as you can see we did just turn the face down and then turn the OD. Now we're going to pilot drill and then drill it. Then it's going to be going over to the CNC machine where we're going to machine the face to length. Now it does leave a very fine lip but it's nothing. Five seconds with an angle grinder can't fix and polish out. Finally all we need to do now is make the mushrooms. Now these basically are just some screw cut bar, we do a little weld prep on there and then we weld a washer on. And that's it, that's all the parts needed to assemble these bolts. So you have your bolt, you have your washer, then the nut goes on and then the mushroom goes on the end. Now we use these mushrooms to catch the nut if they ever do come loose as these bolts are used to keep a lid on a massive high pressure drum that's 34 in the air. So you can imagine one of them nuts hitting you on the head from that height could really do some damage. Thank you for watching my video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button.